Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Visio or Microsoft Visio for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you start using Microsoft Visio? Well, using Microsoft Visio is actually kind of easy here. We first need to discuss the basics. So we first need to discuss what is Visio. Well, Visio here is a platform for you to create your flowcharts or your diagrams. So if you're looking to organize your uh, steps or your processes or for your or you're creating a flowchart or a uh, basically a diagram for your business or for your company, well, Visio here can actually help you a lot. So Visio here is not free, so you need to pay for it. But the thing here is they have different plans. We also have the Visio Plan 1 here, which is 7.50 Australian dollars. And uh, in this case, it will depend on your current region or country uh, regarding its plan. So for Australia, it's 7.50. Now for Visio Plan here, Plan 2 here, is it is $22.40 a month. Now, the thing here is the difference between Visio Plan and Plan, plan 2 here is the capabilities that they offer. So Visio Plan here is the basic. So you could basically access, access the basic tools like uh, some of the uh, uh, shapes, uh, some of the diagrams here. But if you want to get a more extensive, extensive plan for that, well, you need to get the Visio Plan to here. So this includes like flow charts or uh, specific or uh, I'll be showing you later on what, what I'm talking about here. So specific shapes that you might need for your business. But they also, or the Visio, uh, application or platform here is also included under Microsoft 365. So if you have a Microsoft 365 plan, where in this case, you could go ahead and start using video. Now, in this case, uh, let's go ahead and start using it. So I already have it prepared in here and we want to now create a new uh, project. So in this case, at the left panel, we have home, create, my content, feed, apps, and admin. Now the homepage here is where we are currently now. As you can see, this will actually show you all the current uh, files I have on the video. Now if you want to create a new one, you can go and click on create and choose one of the uh, following templates here if you want to. So you could choose presentations, calendars, or flyers if you want to. And yeah, you could go to my content here and you should be able to see different content uh, regarding your account. So that includes files recently opened, shared, favorites, and a lot of those. We also have feed here, which includes uh, details regarding your account. So in this case, uh, it doesn't much, uh, necessarily mean much here now. So we also have the apps here if you want to add uh, other further functionalities in your account. And uh, yeah. So in this case, uh, those are the basics here. So let's go ahead and start uh, creating a project here on the Visio. So in this case, since we want to create a Visio, what we need to do is we need to go to home here, click on creating new. And from here, let's go ahead and look for Visio here. But if you don't see it, what we could do is basically go back to your previous pages. So in this case, it's going to be microsoft665.com slash lunch slash Visio. Now, from here, let's go ahead and create a new file here. So let's go ahead and click on one of the following templates. So you could choose flowchart, basic diagram, organization chart here, infographic timeline. So depending on what you need. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on all templates here so that we'll be able to basically see all the available templates that we could use for our project or our diagram. Now, if you want to create a blank one, you could go and click on new blank drawing here if you want to. So this might take a while. So let's just create a new blank drawing here. So we'll go back in here and choose one out of In this case, it, uh, if you see any problem here, what we need to do is we need to actually reload it again. So once you've created a new file here, what we need to do is we now need to start adding our shapes. So. In this case, uh, at the left panel, we have our side panel here, which includes these shapes. Now, in this case, you could add squares, uh, rectangles, circles, or ellipses if you want to. So depending on what you need to add here, you can just basically drag them into your canvas. So for example, let's go and drag this rectangle here, and you can resize them if you want to, make it flat, make it wider, make it taller if you want to. But yeah. 
So once you've added it, the thing that you could do here is if you're familiar with Word, uh, it actually confirms that. So meaning you could basically edit the text within it, uh, edit the actual look for it, look on it once you've added the actual shape. So for example, we have the shape here. So in this case, uh, you could go ahead and start adding your uh, your text by double clicking, uh, clicking on the shape and just adding the text itself. So I'm going to actually add this one as an example. And as you can see, we now have our text. Now in this case, uh, if you want to change the uh, font size for that text, make sure to select that specific shape that has the text and basically make it bigger, change the text itself, uh, font family if you want to even change the color if needed. So. In this case, what are the other things we could do here? So you could do all the basic text stuff here, uh, make it bigger, underline, even italic, bold, or whatever. You will also change, you could also change the alignment if you want to, as you can see right now. I uh, want to actually make, th make this center. You can even uh, uh, change the orientation of the text itself, uh, change how, or basically add, a text box if you want to. So for example, uh, this is going to, this is a sample text as you can see right now. So you go ahead and just type whatever, as you can see, instead of having that border, uh, you have that empty or that floating text if you want to add that. Now in this case, whenever we click on one of the uh, sides here, as you can see, it, the actual shape is now selected. Now you can change a few things here. Like for example, if you want to draw a shape, can change or draw a connector line here, which in this case, I'll be showing you later on as well. So I'm going to actually draw this one, delete it again. But yeah, so in this case, once you've selected uh, your shape here, you can change the look for it. So for example, I wanna change it, I wanna make it blue, uh, the font uh, uh, font itself. But in this case, since it, uh, the text can't be seen, I want to change this to a different one. So as an example, can make it this one, make it look like this one, as you can see right now. Also, you have the option to change the team color if you want to. So if you want to change the outline color as well. And yeah, so since in this case, you could also change the actual visibility of this uh, text or this specific uh, shape. So as you can see right now, I have this specific shape over this specific, uh, this specific text under this rectangle here. So what you need, you could do here is you could bring this to front or bring it to uh, back. So in this case, I want to bring this to back. So let's go ahead and click on send backward. As you can see, it's now behind. So if you want to make that special effect look on your shapes or your text, this is how you do it. So you could also uh, bring this to front if you want to, as you can see right now. So yeah, so in this case, that's how those are the tools that you could do here. You could even rotate them if you want to and flip uh, the shapes or text that you see here. Now in this case, how do you start connecting the shapes that you see here? Well, it's actually fairly easy. So for example, I want to add a specific shape here and I want to actually connect them. So you could actually just click on the section. So I'm gonna click on. So as you can see, there's a green dot there. You could go ahead and just press and hold in it and just connect it to the other shape that you want. As you can see, this rectangle is now connected to this ellipse. Now, in this case, you could also go to design here to change how it actually looks like. So for example, if you want to choose a team for this one, so I wanna choose this one, as you can see, it is now changed. So in this case, it's going to change the color, so automatically affect that. So as you can see, we now have preview at the left panel here, how everything is going to look like. Now, you could also change the connector style here. So by default, we have it in a format where and it's going to be in a square or in the uh, kind of look this way. By the way, you could change how it's going to appear here. As you can see, I can change how it's going to move around. So make sure to just double click and hold on the actual connecting point here to move this around. So as I said before, you can change the style itself. So for example, we wanna make this curve. So I'm gonna choose curve lines. So it's going to curve instead of having that uh, right angle look for our um, deck or connector here. Now, in this case, you could also use this one to quickly create shapes or the connectors, connectors that have shape on it. So for example, I wanna create this one 
and as you can see we were able to create our um, shape here immediately now by the way if you want to move this around make sure to dock, uh, hold and click on the green dot on the connector line so that you'll be able to move it around because sometimes it's not going to look good on specific sections here so that's why I like to move it around just make sure that it actually looks uh, uh, good and it actually can be clear clearly seen so in this case if you're looking for specific shapes here you could actually download them like for example blocks blocks raised if you have specific symbols that you want to add graphs and match shapes you could get go ahead and add them but the thing here is like for example flow charts cross functional flow charts if you need those you need to have the visual planet 2 or the microsoft 365 plan so if you just need the basic flow chart shapes here you could go and add them and in this case once you actually go back into this one you should now have the basic flow chart shapes here as you can see now again if you want to add shapes make sure to click on the plus button here now if you want to save this go ahead and click on the file section go ahead and click on save as if you want to create any blank drawing as well a back basic diagram if you want to basic flow chart and uh, yeah so in this case, those are the basics that you need to know here to start using Microsoft Visio, and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button, and watch our next video.